Hey, thanks for dropping by. My name is Jason Garcia, coming to you from my apartment in Tokyo. A couple years ago, I was really interested in uh, digitizing my film and really wanted to know how to do that. So, investigated a lot, found a number of YouTubers using light tables and light boxes and this type of thing. And some of these contraptions you could buy. And, you know, I just thought to myself, there's a way I can do this myself. And uh, this whole DIY thing came to mind and I created this. This is my uh, this is my film scanner and made from scratch. This is very gratifying and um, you know, so for under a hundred bucks, I was able to create this thing that allows me to scan my film and uh, you know, I just wanna go over that with you. So let's check this out. So these are all the things that I needed to create my film scanner. I've got my pencil, my X-Acto blade, my ruler, cutting board, gaffer's tape, foam core, but it really started with this guy. This is the film box slash film table, whatever you want to call it. This is what everybody was saying I needed to use to scan my film. And I put some gaffer's tape in there so that my film holder would sort of fit perfectly. Voila. But really, this thing was just garbage. It really just, it, it, the lighting in there didn't work right. It just sucked. So I was on the hunt to find something that was better. And that led me to Amazon where I discovered this light strip. It was about 30 bucks. And I already had this. This is my, you know, my film holder. So if you're looking for one, it's about $37. And just started measuring everything. And I figured, you know, I better write things down. So I noticed I'm missing, uh, you know, a couple millimeters here and account for the film holder. I didn't want things to be too tight. So that brought me back and I added a little bit of foam core to the sides uh, so that things can just move easily. And this light strip came with a motion sensor. So I decided to cover that up. And I also decided to diffuse that light a little bit more. So I cut some plexiglass. All good. So I cut my foam core in a way so when I put the film strip on there, it stops. And I can pull that film without the, uh, the film holder going anywhere. And also, the little motion detector is covered up. So that when I am pulling my film through, it doesn't turn on or off. And it's all really, really easy. You shoot six frames. And then you pull six frames more or whatever you're looking for. And use gloves. Um, <laughs> I'm trying my best not to touch the, the you know, the, uh, the frames. And I can also change the amount of light that the film strip gives off, depending on what kind of film I have. I also use a level bubble on my camera when I'm getting ready to scan these. I have it on a timer and I put it on manual focus. The manual focus allows me to capture this image perfectly in focus every single time. And when I'm ready to shoot the next frame, I just move the contraption. Everything stays in focus. So that is my film scanner. I've had a really great time doing it myself, knowing that I can repair it myself. The gaffer's tape with everything together is really, really sturdy. I know it's gonna last me for a long time. I really bash the heck out of this thing. So it's a, it's a great piece and I know that you can create it too. So I hope that you can subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for dropping by.